Stay there. Can you guess which of these packages took the longest to get here? But let's just go through and we'll give you a little bit of a better idea of what these packages are and where they came from so that you can really take a good guess and see which one makes sense that it would take as long as it did. So the fastest package got here in two days. Most of them got here within five or so days. And then one took almost a month. Based on this experience, I'm starting a new series. It's called Tech Time Capsule. And it's all about how technology is changing everything we do in life. Commerce, health, longevity, you name it, tech is changing it. Plus, this is an opportunity to leverage YouTube and the internet so that I can put a bet down on a date and then I can go back and see whether or not it was right. Maybe I undershot it, overshot it. Who knows? So today's tech time capsule is all about the U.S. Postal Service, an outstanding organization. I really like my mail carriers. They're great people. And I've had a lot of great experiences through the post office. But this one not so good and I think it's a trendsetter. So around me I have packages I received recently from all over literally the world. This box came from Germany outside of Stuttgart. It's a guitar, weighs 11 pounds. According to Google it's 4,165 miles away from my house. It took six days to get here and it had to cross a fairly major ocean. This came from Longwood, Florida. It weighed 22 pounds, got here in two days, and that's 843 miles away. This, this came from Union Gap, Washington, the fine state of Washington. It is an eight foot long tube that has one inch diameter, eight foot long aluminum pipes. You want to guess how long it took to get this here from Washington? It's only 2,644 miles away and it went ground transportation. Five days. This is an Amazon package. One of many. We probably got dozens of Amazon packages over the holidays. Actually, we get, <laughs> we get about a dozen Amazon packages almost every month. This came from Columbus, Ohio, probably by air, 371 miles away from my house. You want to guess how long it took to get here? Two days. This, it came from Syracuse, New York. It's only 342 miles away. It says it weighs 12.8 ounces. You know what it is? It's a calendar and some Christmas cards. It says two day prior day mail track and insured. You want to guess how long it took to get to my house? Now, look at these packages. Okay, this one's crazy. It's a freaking cylinder that's eight foot long. This thing weighs 22 pounds. This came from Germany. This is nothing special, but it represents the future. Let's see. This was UPS International. UPS, I think this was UPS, ground, on trucks. I don't know how this traveled, got here fast. This had to go on a plane at some point. This was stuck in I can't tell you how many different places. And once it got into my local area, it bounced around two or three different places from within 10 miles of my house. I couldn't even go pick this up if I wanted to. I predict that the U.S. Postal Service will go out of commission, be out of play by 2025. That's four years from now. Shocking? 
Yeah, it's shocking. Again, I love the Postal Service. And I wish I could say that this case was unique, a one of a kind, but it's not. Pretty much every package, every letter we've gotten from the Postal Service has taken two, three times as long as it did six months ago. Letters that used to take two, three days are now taking six days, seven days, 10 days. Packages, might as well forget it. Amazon packages sent to the post office take at least a week, sometimes two or three. I've lived in little quaint places where I enjoyed going to the post office in the middle of nowhere, right up against the water front, beautiful countryside. The people inside were always polite. And I asked him one time, why does it take so long to get my mail? And they said, because mail, and in this case, priority mail, is secondary. And this was probably 20 years ago. They said the junk mail had a priority because that's where they made their money. Now, technology. Amazon, we have the trucks running through our neighborhood. You see them twice, three times a day. You can't miss them. UPS is the same way. These guys all have transportation systems to and from literally every place in the world. U.S. Postal Service relies on others. One of the things I think that's really kind of messing this up for the Postal Service is this would have been sent. I mean, it's flat. There's nothing major around. It says handle with care and fragile. But with COVID, what's happened? Less air travel, less air flights, less postage being sent. So then it's shipped on the ground. I got it. But so was this from about 10 times further across the United States of America to my house. More money is not going to solve this problem. They have some technology they're putting in place. We all can remember about how the mail with the ballots and voting was really tough. I hope they make it. I hope I'm wrong. I hope they're in play in 2030, 2040, 2050. But I just don't feel good about it. So what do you think? Am I totally off base? Please post your comments below. I'd like to hear some votes. I'd like to see your predictions. Is the Postal Service going to be around forever? Or is it going to die in one, two years, 10 years? Let's take a vote and see what we think. And then we'll all come back on January 2025 and see if I was right. I hope I'm wrong. Thumbs up and comments. Always appreciate it. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in my new tech time capsules, making and breaking things, cosplay, prop builds, designs of all kinds, check out my channel and please subscribe because you never know what you're going to see.